Hi David, we meet again. We certainly do. <laughs> now we've come to the butterfly world. Now, how did you get involved in such a fantastic project like this? Well, a, a long time ago I met Clive Farrell. He's okay. a genius, he knows more about butterflies than probably the rest of the world put together in certain aspects. And he, his dream was to put the butterfly back, not just into Greater London, but into uh, Britain and the world, um, that have disappeared. And when you think, when I was a kid, lived in the east end of London, I could pick a bunch of wildflowers for my mum for her birthday, yes. and they smelt sweet, and they had nectar, and they were surrounded by butterflies and bees and things like that. They have all gone. And, well, not all gone. If you go and look in the right place, they're still there. And if we give them a little bit of helping hand, wow, they come back again. And that's what Butterfly World and the future gardens here, to show people we can have our cake and eat it. Because without bees and butterflies, what would pollinate the plant? One third of all our farmers' crops need them. So put them back and... Exactly. I can retire. Now there is a big problem, isn't there, at the moment, David, with with the bees. People are quite concerned. They they seem to be depleting. Why is that? Well, if you think how different London is to when okay. David Byrne was a little boy, um, there were people digging for victory, yes. and the things we dug for victory and the food we grew yes. um, also helped the caterpillars and the other things. Absolutely. And we weren't using nasty. Uh, pesticide, were we? Mm. And we didn't have all that tiles and things. And exactly. sparrows yeah. in those days had holes in houses to live in. Exactly. Where had they gone to? Exactly. And sparrows have to have those little inchworms to yes. feed their babies on. Where had they gone? They're not in London. So the whole thing came down to Clive Farrell and this idea, and I've been sort of engulfed in it for a long time. I think this is absolutely wonder wonderful place. Now, I do my little bit, and I've got flowers growing in the garden, and I did hear that the sparrows, you know, there was a problem with the sparrows as well. So I constantly put out f food for the birds and the bird seed and everything, and I'm really pleased to say that I have got a family of sparrows that come to the garden, but it would be wonderful to see the butterflies, more, more of them. Well, I mean, that what is not suggest? rocket science. What, I mean, give us, give us um, uh, nine months and you can bring them back. That's all it takes. Okay, which, which I mean, ones? you see, for a start, this site okay. was a bit of ordinary Britain, which yet had had all sorts of things sprayed on it, including far too much in the way of fertilizers. Mm. So only the big, nasty weeds came up, and all the poor little weeds flowers which have flowering disappeared. Mm. And it's quite easy to put those back. It takes eight months. I've done, I think, help with 15 show. Um, farms right across okay. Britain and you know we started off with no skylarks um, by the time we f um, finished it I was saying shut those booming birds up <laughs> I mean it's not all you have to do is plant the right plant okay. and the best plant here is lotus corniculatus Ooh. which is the bacon and eggs it has a little yellow flower and some of the flowers are bacon coloured okay. and they they grow very very quickly they fill the the thing with a wonderful scent and they make nectar and if you put those right in the middle of, of, the a, of a, um, a farmer's field okay. which is full of barley and stuff okay. just do an island and then they all come okay. and they tell all their friends and then their friends go up and then of course in come the blooming um, uh, birds <laughs> and eat them but that is what That's it was. Nature. And That's nature. Nature, yeah, absolutely. It? If, if someone wanted to make their garden butterfly friendly, bee friendly, bird friendly, what would be the simplest way to start? Well, come here and have a look. Okay. Because there's all the expertise and I'm showing how. But you can start with an ordinary window box. Okay. If you don't, I have five acres and my missus looks after it. Or <laughs> Mother Nature looks So you up. get out of it easy. Yeah, then. absolutely. But, um, uh, and if anyone living in Britain, they can get in touch with the Wildlife Trust, okay. and they have local people who come and say, show you how to put the oh, things okay. back. So uh, there's a, a network of the Wildlife Trust, and at one time I was president of all uh, 47 of them, you know, and founded about six of them. Wow. It's amazing. I've already had five things this year, 50th anniversary, my wedding, 
and um, the BTCV and two and they got, I got another six 50 anniversary. I'm getting old! Dare I say you're a busy bee. <laughs> <laughs> and have you seen the toilets here? They are all shaped like beehives. Oh, yes, I have actually. Yes, well now you see, you all say, well I want to go to the toilet, you don't know. I'm going to buzz off. <laughs> Wonderful. Who thought of that? I didn't. Well, I think everybody who's come together on this project uh, has done an absolutely fantastic job, and it's still growing, isn't it? There's still phase two to go. Well, when you think that the civil engineers, and you know, uh, that's what they're meant to be, and this lot are so blooming civil that they... <laughs> exactly did everything and now they've invested in the next thing yes. that's amazing why because people came here and saw people they could believe that's doing right. something which is common sense and they can believe in Excellent. and when you get britain back like that as we were in the second world war yes. we can be anything <laughs> and on that note david thank you so much for your time it's been absolutely fantastic talking to you and getting your points of view on butterfly world and let's hope it's a success for the future and see you again. Mm. <laughs> a butterfly kiss. Oh, a butterfly kisses. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay.